Okay, so in one of my previous uh, videos, dating back a ways, I looked at slope fields and I sort of jumped the gun. Uh, the book introduces them in chapter 11, but I want you to see them ahead of time. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a separable diff EQ and we're gonna look at dy dx is equal to x over y. And so what you can do with this is you can start making some axes and you can go one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three, one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. And I can say that uh, dy dx equals x over y. So if I've got one and one, it's got a slope of one. So I put a slope of one right there. I put a slope of one where two and two, a slope of one where three and three, same thing, uh, negative one, negative one, negative two, negative two, negative three, negative three. Those all have slopes of, and well, I'm gonna just leave that like this. And then at one and negative one, it's got a slope of negative one, negative two, and we're doing this manually. And then we're going to show how a computer can sort of help you out with it for more complicated ones. And then here when x equals zero, when x equals zero, no matter what y is, you get a slope of zero. So I can sort of just fill that in like that. And here it's got a slope of zero. At y equals zero, the slope is undefined and it's gonna be a vertical slope like this. And then uh, where I've got one and one and two or two and um, two and one rather, that's gonna be a slope of two. And three and one, that's going to be a slope of like three. So kind of like, like that. And then this is going to be down here. This is gonna be a slope of uh, negative two. So something like that. And that's gonna be a slope of negative three. So something roughly like that. And then three over two. So if I go, so if I go over three, uh, if I go down three over two, so something like that. It's gonna be something like that. <clears throat> and I can do the same thing over here. Two and one. Two and one has a slope of two. So like that. I'm sorry, this is gonna be one half, I'm sorry. One half. So it's gonna be more like that. And then over here, it's got a slope Right there, it's got a slope of negative one half. And same thing, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sort of, you can fill those in, but you're, it's gonna get boring to you. But basically what's gonna happen is I start here, 
and I go, oh, so here it's got a slope of zero, but then as I go out, it's got a slope that approaches one. And so as I go away from here, the slope gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it goes to one. Here, the same thing happens. So there's one solution. Uh, here it's got a slope that's undefined, but then again, it's gonna go and sort of approach a slope of one. And it's gonna kinda come down here like that and approach a slope of one. Or I could go over here, do the same sort of thing. It's gonna come out and it's gonna approach a slope of negative one that way and positive one that way. And then over here, kind of start over here. It's gonna come like that, and it's gonna come like that. So these are all possible solutions. All of these are possible solutions for the differential equation. And we'll sort of see how we get those right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate my differential equation. So I'm going to get my y's on one side, so I'm gonna get y dy is equal to x dx. And so I get the integral of both of those sides and I get one half uh, y squared equals one half x squared plus c. <coughs> And so then I'm going to change that around. I'm gonna multiply everything by two. So I'm gonna get y squared plus x squared equals c. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do two steps at once. Okay, once again, c is an unknown constant. If I multiply everything by two, I still get, I get two c, which is still an unknown constant. So I get y equals x squared y squared minus x squared equals c, and that's a, Okay, so doing my separable differential equation, I get y squared minus x squared equals c, and that's a hyperbola that's gonna open vertically if c is greater than zero, and horizontally if c is less than zero. So, in other words, basically I just sort of say if that's one and a half, then this equation here, that's opening vertically, so that's going to be y squared equals, uh, so I'm gonna say that that's gonna be y squared minus x squared equals uh, 1.5 squared. That's that one. This one is going to be x squared minus y squared is equal to 2.5 squared. This one is gonna be y squared minus x squared uh, also equals 1.5 squared. And that one is going to be, that's about one point, so that's gonna be x squared minus y squared equals about like 1.6 1 1 squared, roughly. Okay, so that's using, that's using slope fields. So the concept behind a slope field is that what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our different, differential equation, that's the slope of my line, and then this is the function that gives me the slope of my line, so I basically plug in a ton of different points and I find all these little slopes and then I have to draw curves that sort of follow along those slopes. And then I can also use 
what I know about differential equations to come up with an analytical solution sometimes. Okay, that's that video.